Hello again, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you. Today we've got a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, it says on the box what it is, so unless something's gone horribly wrong, it's not going to be Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Let's open it up and let's have a look. I've lost my big YouTuber knife, so I'm going to have to rely on my piddly little Swiss Army knockoff. This is the Swell Pond Air Pump Maxi 2400. And this is designed to replace my failing, noisy, annoying, horrible um, pump that we've got at the moment. So, what's in the box? We have an instruction manual, which is always good. We have a little manifold. So we've got six outlet manifold. And the pump itself with no plug. A little brass hose tail thing and a little bit of pipe and that's it so you might recognize this style of pump and um, I'm sure you'll have seen them everywhere I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of an upgrade um, to my current setup mostly in that it should be a lot quieter hopefully a lot more reliable and hopefully a little less power hungry. So if you've heard any of the previous videos I was talking about upgrading my pump for a while. I've been looking at linear air pumps and looking at Charles Austin uh, air pumps which are the ones that are more readily available around here but eventually settled on this from Swell. So this is the Swell 2400 which is a 40 litre per minute pump. Basically it was on offer so it was a good deal. It's slightly lower than the current lower output than the current pump that I have down there but the current pump has way more than I need so this should be perfect for my need. I mean I'm only trying to run less than 20 odd tanks down there, 20 odd outlets and um, so it should be more than good enough for my needs and if it's quiet it'll make my life so much um, less stressful. The reason I think it doesn't have a plug on it is because it's going to be it's intended as a pond pump so you might be hooking this up to a power outlet that's outside so you might not necessarily want a normal house plug on but actually just stick on a normal house plug Another of the considerations I was making would be whether or not to run a manifold like this sort of thing. So the idea is that you get this here, you screw in your little hose tail, a little bit of hose to manifold out to pumps. Now obviously I want more than six, um, but I do have a few of these type of manifolds that have uh, taps on them. So I might just run them direct. One day, ultimately, I'm going to go for a central air system, I think, you know, where you run this a bit of a longer hose into a piece of PVC that goes in a loop around the roof and then you dangle your air lines direct from that. But I think we're going to start this off and just do a straight swap. Or I might just replace all the air lines because it's a bit of a spaghetti junction down there. We'll have a think about that. Right, I uh, had a think about it. So I found about 10 metres worth of air tubing that I had downstairs. My big bag of airline taps. These are pretty cool. Um, these are really useful for balancing the system. But it's essentially a little, little tap. The airline in, airline out, and a tap that controls the pressure. Really, really useful for balancing the system and getting rid of those headaches when you've got one tank that the bubbles are going mental in and another tank that are going boop, boop. So, I forgot I had that, I forgot I had the airline, so that made my mind up for me, we're going to redo everything. I've also found a few of these, so I've got, I think I've got three or four of these, which are basically, these are another type of manifold, your airline comes into here, and then on here you have taps where you can switch them on or off. So I'll probably have one of these per shelf, mount somewhere that I can actually access it and then use these as the airline goes into the tank so I can do some fine tuning. So here's the offender, as you can hear, pretty noisy, well if you can hear. Um, we'll do a comparison at the end once I swapped it over, but it's essentially the same idea. It's going into a manifold of its own here, and um, so we're just going to swap over everything to this point, rip it all out and start again. So most tanks have got air sponge filters in them or if they haven't they've got air stones in them um, the majority of the tanks are all sponge filters so I'm just going to take out everything uh, I'll leave the sponge filters in the water so as they retain their biological 
goodness and we will rip out the air lines and you can see it's a bit of a spaghetti junction up here and um, so there is a lot to be gained from a bit of a tidy up so we'll see how we go so you can see in terms of size there's quite a difference between the old one and the new one um, but essentially the business end is exactly the same so I could just swap everything that was plugged into this straight over into this one but I want to try and do a little bit of organisation at the same time and my plan is to get one of those metal manifolds and kind of mount them at each shelf level and that way I've got easy access to turn caps on and off if I want to do anything should I need to so we shall get on and do that so there's some of the carriage so far after ripping out most of the airlines as you can see over the years it just became a knot and mess of connectors and dividers and taps so hopefully this will be a lot cleaner so what I've got so far is obviously is the pump up here and I've hooked up the first airline um, manifold thing here and I'm going to run this whole rack, I've decided, on uh, this one manifold and because there's only four tanks there at the moment, I'm not expecting to get more than five there so I've got the tap there, I've just hooked up a little bit of PVC to hopefully keep it a little bit cleaner run all the airlines through that, just so they're out of the way and put them into each tank, so I'll get on with that and finish that up so if you are following along with this and you're using the pipe method to tidy things up and I realise I'm probably talking to a very niche small audience there when you get into your threes and your fours it's very hard to feed this down without it getting jammed so top tip is get a smaller piece of pipe that's rigid feed that through first just so as it pokes out the end like so and then that should just go through it easy peasy let you pull it through put the pipe back out jobs are good in ok everything's hooked up uh, I've got all the taps open everything that's got a air device connected to it has a tap open and I think the idea is leave it all open and then start closing everything to tune it in um, I didn't go with putting one of these type of taps on every line because you can control most things with these I think so I've got these five controlling this whole rack another one of these uh, here controlling this um, oh I didn't use one I've just linked all the other ones up directly with some of these little valves but I do have one more manifold I'll probably order a couple more of these um, if this works out so moment of truth let's turn it on and see if we get bubbles here we go oh yes we have a lot of bubbles probably too many bubbles in many cases so the idea is now I've hooked these up in order of the tanks um, and I can go from nothing to full open so that's too much I just think I'd get everything to a manageable size So there's much tinkering to be done, so I'll go away and do some tinkering and then we'll do some tests on the noise. I can tell you right now it's quieter, but let's see how much. So the results are in. Every tank now has air. Um, I've, most of them are turned down it's almost as far as they'll go because it's way more powerful than I expected. So it is only 40, 40 litres per minute. Um, but it's kicking out way more than my old pump which was meant to be 65 litres a minute but that old pump was dying so maybe that's why I'm surprised by it um, I've always got that as a backup as well so if this one ever goes wrong then I've got that one that will keep me going until I can get a new one in but so far so good um, I'll 
have a look now and see how loud this one is when it's running, but I, I can tell it's quieter. Um, but we'll finish off in a minute and we'll do a comparison between this one and the old one. Um, but yeah, so far so good. If I was to give any tips away, try and start from the top down when you're trying to balance and equalise the system. Um, I've, I've left one tap here where I can turn that on and let all the air out all together if I want, or I can bring that down to dial that in as a kind of release valve um, just so you're not putting too much back pressure on the pump so I've yet to dial that in and if anyone's got any tips on how to do that properly uh, by all means leave them in the comments but yeah plenty of power not as much noise very happy chappy let's see how loud it is actually Definitely much quieter. So, as always, thanks for watching. Give me a comment down below, give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe if this is your first time here, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, see you later. Bye bye.